Hey, everybody, welcome to my usual me. Welcome back to Atlas. Okay, guys, some of you are asking me uh, how to add mods to the game, how to add mods to Atlas. And for some of us, for a lot of us, this is just a commonplace thing. But I understand completely if you're new to the game and you haven't ever added a mod to your single player in either Arc or in Atlas, I understand where you're coming from because sometimes new things are confusing. So let's go ahead and let's do this. Uh, because it was requested, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make this video. So uh, if you go into where in your Steam, where you have your Atlas, we're going to go ahead and, and we're going to go into the browse the workshop, and then we're going to we're going to it's going to bring us to our to our mod page right here. So I'm if, I'm going to go ahead and go to my files and my subscribed items right here to give you an example. So I have these are the mods that I've already got installed into my game. Not in I don't have these actually in my single player game but i've got them installed in atlas and that might seem a little confusing but we'll explain that in a second all right so let's go ahead and go to let's see uh we'll go echo that's fine let me back this out right quick so all you have to do is just all you need is a part of the name usually the first part of the name so i'm going to type in echo because echo she has got um a lot of mods in arc and in atlas and here we go well she's got three atlas mods well actually one of them isn't quite finished but she has echoes rp decor and echoes atlas foliage and so what you'll do is if you don't have it subscribed it'll have a plus button in the bottom right hand side of the mod and you just click on it and once you do it will start to download in in your in your steam folder okay so and then it'll give you a check mark and what you'll do is you'll see that it will it will start to download. And now once it, you know, you want to wait for this to finish downloading completely uh, after you've clicked on all the mods that you want to add to your game. And once it, all the downloading is done, then you're going to want to go back into Atlas. Now, once you're at this screen here, what will happen is all the mods that you just got done downloading will start to start to start to download here in the bottom right hand side of your screen. You're going to see it's, it's going to say, you know, updating um, X amount or whatever, however many mods you, you picked. So, and once you want to wait for that to finish, and once that's done, then you can hit your single player. Now, as of right now, as of this last video, the only mod I had was sail weight increase plus more, but I'm actually subscribed to all of these mods. So these are all the available mods that I can add. So what I'm going to do today, guys, I'm going to go ahead and add a few mods to my game. I'm going to go ahead and add peachy ship decor. So what you do is you click on it. And you click the arrow and it'll bring it up okay i'm also going to run uh the echo rp mod or R rp decor and i'm, I'm going to run the figureheads and ship essentials so i can have cool figureheads on my ship and then i'm going to have the sail mod so these four these four mods have been tested and they actually do not cause crashes now some of these other ones that i've got they actually will cause your game to crash when you try to learn them and I'll explain that in just a second. So let's go ahead and hit the sa play single player. And it's going to take your game longer to load than normal, the more mods that you have. Because it has to load the mods in so each time. So you're, it's going to take you longer to load in the more mods you've got. All right, now. Now that you're loaded in, you're going to go ahead and you're going to go into your skill screen here. And you're going to see that there are some, there, the mods are in places that they didn't, didn't, have mod, didn't have spots before. So they left openings so that modders can put their, their, their mods in here. So what's, go, what's going to happen, guys, is if you have too many mods up in the top part, when you try to go ahead and learn them, it'll crash your game. And it depends. You're going to have to test this, and you're going to have to see what mods are going to crash your game. Like Ship Designer. It should be fine. Looks like I've already learned it. Okay. So I've already learned ship designer. So let's see what else we've got here. Go over here. All right. So we have peachy ship decor up here and echoes RP decor right here. So we're going to learn that one. Okay. It didn't crash my game. That one didn't crash my game. Now, if you click on it and it crashes your game, then that mod most likely is going to cut is causing a problem with the single player. Now we've had that happen, like I said. So I, you've asked people have asked me, have you crashed in the game yet? And I said no, but yes, because I haven't crashed in the game because the game hadn't caused me to crash, not yet. But trying to learn some mods have crashed my game. And what you, if you have that problem, what you want to do is you want to back them out, back it out, back all the mods out, 
and you want to go ahead and you want to use the arrow like I showed you how to, how to add the mod and reverse the process from the top with the arrow that's up there at the top. So, and then what you want to do is add them one at a time and come into your game and learn them until you find the one that's crashing you and, that's so, and then you can't use that one. So we don't know what all mods will crash your game, but some of them will. I know I reiterated death about three times, but it's important that you, that you know that you can, you can uh, crash your game with a mod. All right, so once you've learned the mods, most likely they're going to be in your inventory. So uh, if I need 250 wood to craft the Echoes RP decor crafting table. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some 250 wood out of here. There's that. And I'm going to need some fiber, some thatch, and some wood for the Peachy Ship decor bench. And once again, guys, you're going to want to go ahead and thoroughly test these to make sure that they're not going to crash your game. Make, this, make the station... And then try to place the station. And then so long as it doesn't crash your game when you're doing this stuff, you should be probably fine. You should be probably okay. So it shouldn't be a, it shouldn't be a big deal for you. So like, and then make something in from the station to make sure that it's not going to be a problem for you. I'm going to go ahead and take this. We're going to drop, we're going to take this downstairs because I, I'm, all my resources are down here. And now that I've got all of my stations made up, I, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of this tannery because I don't need this anymore. And now I'm going to go ahead and place up this. I'll, just to give you an example of how much of a difference this makes, the peachy decor stuff, I've got the, I've got the loom, the smithy, the tannery, and the forge made up. So we're going to go with the loom first. That was a loom, or no, the tannery. Go with the tannery first. So this tannery right here, guys, that's the size of the tannery right there that's the size of the tannery should be but instead the developers decided they wanted to make it 10 times the size that it really needed to be so peachy decided to fix that and then gosh she has man because that's so amazing all right and then what do we have here let's go with um what is this this is the is that my smithy that's the loom all right so this is the loom right here boom it also, the modded loom will also take care of, it will also craft your super uh, handling sales as well, or your super sales as well. So they, it, will do the, it will craft the modded stuff, even though it's not the mod that this comes from. So that's always an added bonus. You want to check that to make sure that's going to work. If not, you may have to use your original, the original equipment. So and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the, the forge right here. Which yeah, this one place is crooked. I don't know. This place is weird. But this is that forge that I had up top. Remember the big one? There you go. That's the new forge. All right. So that's my forge for my for my for my ingots. So that's amazing. And now we're gonna go ahead and demolish the smithy because we don't need the smithy anymore. Because I've got this one. It's not very, it's a little smaller. It's not too bad. The smithy that they've got isn't too bad, but this one's a little bit smaller. It fits in a little. So all of my crafting stations now fit right here, and, and look at how much room we've got. It's amazing. But just to recap, guys, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put all the mods in that you want. Try, then go ahead and learn them and make sure you don't crash out. If you don't crash out, then you've got to make the stations. Place the stations. Make sure that you don't crash out. And then make sure that you make something from every one of these stations to make sure it's going to work and not crash your game. Okay? So do that. Just one item. It should be fine. And that's just to, just to double check and double test to make sure it's not going to crash your game. Because if you're, if you're sitting here and you're, at, you're out in the middle of the ocean or something and you run down and you go, oh my God, I forgot I got to make this. And you crash your game. Who knows what you're going to wake up to? You never know. Here, let me show you how to take a mod out, too. I mentioned that earlier. I'll tell you how to, how to take a mod out real quick. So once you've gotten into, gotten into the screen and once you hit single player, if you don't want a mod anymore, you can just type, just click on that, like this one right here, then hit that arrow. Boom. And that'll remove it, okay? So like I said, when you wanted to add one, you click on it and hit the arrow to add it. Same thing if you want to get rid of it. I, think, I don't know if I said that earlier or not, but I'm double-checking 
I'm double iterating just to make sure that there's no confusion. Okay, guys. Well, I hope that that helped you out. If it did, you know, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you. And we'll see you in the next Atlas where I think I'm going to go to a Power Stone Island in the next episode. So that'll be tomorrow, guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.